A hundred years ago, there was a book that turned the Choson Kingdom upside down. The book, Seoyu Gyammun, called Observations on Travels in the West, was written by Yu Gil Chun, the first man from Choson to study abroad in the US. What about today, a hundred years after Yu wrote his book? Over the past century, Korea has embraced Western civilization and experienced rapid industrialization. Today, Korea is more relevant in the world than it ever was in the past. This is our attempt to create our own version of observations on travels in the West. The southwestern port city of Bordeaux is famous for its wines. But at Lycée François Majondi, you can find a piece of Korea. Korean language classes have been a part of the school's regular curriculum since last year, marking a milestone for Korean language education in France. Although Korean is an optional subject in the baccalaureat, which is the French college entrance exam, there were no high schools teaching it. 한국어를 배울 수 있는 유일한 기관이에요. 그래서 굉장히 멀리서부터 한국어를 배우기 위해서 옵니다. 그래서 반응도 좋고 부모님들도 열성적이시고요. 학생들은 뭐 자기들이 좋아하는 거를 학교에서 배우는 거잖아요. 그러니까 정말 정말 좋아요. 열심히 하고. 기다렸어요. 숙구 스키에이킹. 78쪽을 펴세요. 세과 78. 78. 78쪽 세보. 크게 크게 읽으세요. Ever since last year, the students here have shown great interest in the Korean language classes. En fait, on, au début, on ne m'avait pas accordé le coréen mm -hmm. et je suis allée voir euh, la secrétaire du proviseur en faisant un mot au proviseur pour qu'il me laisse euh, accéder au cours de coréen. It's still the beginning of the semester, but the students are able to carry on basic conversations. The classes not only teach the language, but also the culture of Korea. Many of the students, however, already know the latest Korean pop songs. La Corée euh, est présente euh, dans nos quotidiens, ne serait-ce que dans la, dans la technologie, avec les grandes sociétés Samsung, LG. Euh, mais aussi, euh, la, la France connaît la Corée euh, par sa propre musique, donc la K-pop, mais aussi par les dramas. Et euh, c'est cette culture que, que j'apprécie énormément et euh, que je prends plaisir à apprendre et euh, j'espère encore à beaucoup apprendre dessus. This high school is the first one to start teaching the Korean language in France and hopes are running high that Majondi will be the first of many. Donc il faut que mettre en place, il fallait mettre en place cet enseignement, créer euh, les outils pédagogiques qui permettent la transmission du savoir et euh, assurer maintenant, il reste ça reste à faire, assurer la rédaction et la mise au point d'un sujet euh, au baccalauréat 2014 maintenant puisque la première session d'enseignement, enfin d'évaluation du coréen au baccalauréat, ce sera en juin 2014. Donc c'est le challenge qui nous laisse à, qui reste à relever. Voilà. It took more than 50 years for Korean language classes to be a part of a French high school curriculum. Then what made that possible? The Korean Culture Center is in the capital of France. 
Today, these people are standing in line to sign up for Korean language classes. C'est pour inscrire ma fille parce qu'elle est très intéressée par la culture coréenne, la civilisation coréenne et tout ce qui touche un peu la Corée. Euh, oui, en coréen, les petits cours d'initiation qu'ils font l'été ici. Donc euh, j'en ai profité et j'ai trouvé ça intéressant et je me suis dit qu'il fallait que je continue. The Culture Center took online registrations in advance, but these people had to sign up in person because just 12 minutes after the online registration system started, more than double the maximum capacity of the classes signed up and crashed the system. Tangi적으로는 젊은 층의 경우에는 K-pop을 비롯한 한국 대중 문화에 대한 그 관심이 늘어났고요. 장기적으로는 어 꾸준히 정부가 투자를 해 가지고 어 지속적으로 그 한국어에 대한 관심을 확산시켰다는 현재에서 그런 요인이 있겠고요. 그리고 어 추가적으로 제가 볼 때는 한국의 그 브랜드 파워가 이미 세계적으로 인정받을 정도 높아졌다는 게 주요한 원인이라고 보고 있습니다. All sorts of people learn Korean here. Today we met a mother and her two daughters who are taking the class together. Pour m'inscrire, pour prendre des cours avec ma fille. Mm. Voilà, et, euh, on commence toutes les deux et puis euh, après, euh, suite au, une fois qu'on aura bien euh, appris la langue, je pourrai enfin pouvoir euh, regarder les dramas et les films coréens sans avoir besoin de, de traduction de sous-titres. Chloe was the one who got her mum and sister into learning Korean. As a passionate fan of K-pop, Chloe's goal is to visit Korea. Je voudrais faire un voyage en Corée. En fait, j'ai promis à ma petite sœur de l'emmener en Corée pour aller voir des concerts de K-pop ou pour aller en Corée juste pour voir les paysages ou autres. The Kama family successfully signs up for a class. Their dedication is evident in their commute. They live one and a half hours away from Paris. It's beautiful. It's a diamond in the rough, really. K-pop is what piqued their interest in Korean culture. Nowadays, the three listen to Korean music together. <laughs> Lily Gamma not only appreciates K-pop, but also has a high opinion of Korean singers. Et puis, euh, je trouve que c'est important justement en tant que mère que enfin, je trouve que ces jeunes gens coréens c'est un bon exemple pour euh, les jeunes gens européens parce qu'ils ont une très bonne morale, ils ont le sens de la famille que les Européens n'ont plus, et, euh, et je trouve qu'ils ont une bonne ligne de vie, qu'ils sont extrêmement courageux. The family also watched Korean broadcasts for the latest updates. Chloe takes us to her room and shows us part of her K-pop collection. Donc voici là, j'ai mes CD de Big Ben en fait là. Donc euh, les, le dernier, sinon j'ai Super Junior. Et sinon, j'ai la méthode Assimil, donc euh, pour les cours de coréen, où euh, du coup, bah, j'ai commencé avec les bases avec ça et je vais compléter du coup avec les cours de coréen à l'ambassade. Voilà, donc la méthode Assimil. Their interest in Korean culture has even changed what they eat. Although Lily Ann Gamma's only knowledge of Korean cuisine comes from recipes, she seems to be doing a decent job. She says cooking Korean food is a natural extension of her interest in the culture. Et je m'intéresse, je m'intéresse à la Corée. Donc automatiquement, euh, comme j'aime beaucoup manger et que je cuisine, je suis une, enfin j'ai la prétention d'être une bonne cuisinière française. Et, euh, et j'avais vraiment envie de faire de la cuisine coréenne. J'en avais vraiment envie et j'avais envie d'en faire euh, et d'en préparer pour ma famille et de, de faire participer tout le monde, pour faire plaisir. How does the rest of the family like Korean food? At first, they were unaccustomed to using chopsticks, but now even the youngest is adept at using them. 
what started out as an interest in music has turned the Kyama family into big fans of Korea. And when classes start next week, they'll be able to work on their Korean language skills. The growing interest in the Korean wave and the language is also spilling over to Hangul, the Korean alphabet. This is a colorful piece of art in the UNESCO headquarters. Kang Yikjun's work came into the collection in 2007. It was a donation proposal uh, proposed by the artist via the delegation and uh, proposed uh, as a, in celebration of the Hangul alphabet to share the spirit. And, uh, and this work was donated, accepted by UNESCO, of course. It's a beautiful work in the collection. Installation artist Kang Yikjun, also known as the next Peng Nam Jun, has generated a lot of interest in Hangul by using it in his works. Thanks to him, a lot of people recognize the artistic value of Hangul. Professor Bernard Gerbo is one of those people. Uh, alors, évidemment, maintenant, tous les domaines de la création sont uh, contaminés, on va dire, par, uh, par ce, cette écriture. Et, euh, et notamment, euh, évidemment, la typographie. De plus en plus, euh, les typographes coréens font des recherches typographiques qui ouvrent le hangul, qui le sortent même du format carré, qui, euh, qui créent des, des, des typos euh, extrêmement variés. Effectivement, euh, la chorégraphe qui anime cette euh, compagnie de danse dit qu'effectivement c'est une source de création infinie euh, pour la chorégraphie. King Sejong, the fourth king of the Joseon dynasty, created Hangul for the people. This prize is named in honor of King Sejong, whose outstanding contribution to literacy was the creation of the native Korean alphabet Hangul for the illiterate. This is the international UNESCO King Sejong International Literacy Prizes that make the great contribution to promote, promote the literacy programs that are worldwide. So this is a, give us the opportunity to select the best practices and share the experiences around among the member states. Is Hangul really easy to learn, as King Sejong intended? Yes, says Stéphane Kurale, who teaches Korean at a university in Paris. Alors aujourd'hui, on va parler principalement de l'écriture coréenne. L'objectif en une heure, c'est que au bout d'une heure, vous sachiez écrire le coréen. Hangul을 전혀 모르는 외국인들에게 한글의 기초를 가르쳐 주는 시간이에요. 그래서 어, 한국어가 얼마나 배우기 쉬운 어, 문자인지에 대해 어, 알아볼 수 있는 수업입니다. L'avantage du coréen, c'est que c'est un système extrêmement simple. Donc, alors, je vais commencer par les consonnes. On a 10 consonnes simples en coréen. Alors, dans ce carré, vous pouvez les former. Donc, je les écris à côté. Professor Kurale argues that Hangul is competitive enough to become the world's common alphabet. He says languages without a writing system can adopt Hangul to write their language. That's possible because even though Hangul only has 24 letters, it can be combined in many different ways to portray different sounds.
Bien, et maintenant nous allons faire donc une dictée en coréen. Vous êtes prêts Oui Très bien. Ensuite, attention au niveau de la consonne. These Écoutez students bien. are learning Hangul for the very first time. How well can they write Essayez d'écrire votre prénom en coréen. How well can they write their own names Some students struggle while others write perfectly. Est-ce que derrière ta camarade pourrait déchiffrer Il y a beaucoup de lettres, ça a l'air d'être un prénom compliqué. One student wrote Arikshadara, but her actual name is Alexandra. What she wrote is incorrect, but it's very close. Alexandra. Oui, ça c'est ça, d'accord. This experiment lends credence to Professor Corelay's argument that anyone can learn Hangul. C'était marrant et intéressant, très intéressant. Par rapport à l'écriture, c'est peut-être la porte, la la prononciation entre la différence entre les ta et ta ta. Donc plus facile, c'est quoi? Plus facile, l'alphabet, il s'apprend assez vite. The coastal city of San Francisco. This is one of the very first places Korean immigrants landed in the U.S. This exhibition summarizes a century of Korean immigration to America. Although their faces are smiling in the photographs, the challenges early Korean immigrants faced in the U.S. were tough, to say the least. But that is a thing of the past. Please come in. This is my house. This is my living room. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff on the wall. K-pop is becoming increasingly popular here. Stacey Burt says she owns more than 250 Korean pop songs and she tries to attend as many K-pop concerts as possible. Actually buying concert tickets for K-pop concerts is extremely difficult. It can take days, the sites will go down immediately because everybody wants the best seats. So for SM Town, it took nine straight hours on the computer, refreshing, trying to get the concert tickets, I actually had Korean class and put him in charge <laughs> and then came back, immediately got back on my computer and finally got the seats that we wanted. Uh -huh. So it, it is difficult and expensive, but totally worth it. Yeah. King Sejong Institute, named after King Sejong, is an educational institute the Korean government launched. There are 90 different branches in 43 countries across the world and San Francisco is one of them. Because of that, the classes focus on language and Sorry, culture. No. Today, the students are learning how to write Korean calligraphy on traditional fans. It was really hard to make. It's so bumpy because of all the little wooden pieces. Um, but I remember she used to try to teach me to do calligraphy when I was younger and it was really hard and I never really got into it. But she's really good at it. She like frames her pieces and sends them to us and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I hope she'll be proud. <laughs> yeah. Dennis Kress says he spends half of his day studying Hangul and Korean culture. I translate. So I started trying to put together the different dynasties and time periods to show when they started and when they ended because there's so much overlap, it was hard to get it in my head. So I started making a chart.
When the classes are over, the students often get together to experience Korean culture. I think it's this way, right? Today, they have gathered at one classmate's place to make kimbap together. <laughs> the host, Marie Chan, has also prepared a Korean drama for her friends to watch. Watching the drama as a group adds to the fun. Padam Padam. The, it's a, oh, that's a newer one. Yeah, it's really good. Why are they into Korean dramas? I think I like, I enjoy seeing the um, interaction between people or the main characters. Mm -hmm. And I think if the stars have good chemistry, mm -hmm. then it makes the drama good. And the story itself, where it's set, doesn't matter as much to me. Personally, I think it's more about, for me, it's more about the interaction and the growth of the characters mm -hmm. and um, whether they have chemistry together or not. Mm. So. Number two, this is a Korean... Under After her friends system. leave, Marie's husband quizzes her on Korean culture. What kind of foods are kalguksu and... She's preparing for an upcoming competition hosted by the King Sejong Institute. I think they're noodles. The winner will get a ticket to Korea. I don't think I've studied enough to win the contest, but I'll try my best. Uh, there are a lot of questions, uh, 188 questions, so. A week later, the competition kicks off. The participants are anxious and excited. Who will be the lucky winner that gets a free ticket to Korea? <laughs> the questions are easy at first. Then, they become increasingly difficult. Now a bunch of the participants are eliminated. <laughs> Marie is also among them. The pool of contenders is shrinking. That's it? Excited. Excited. Exhausted. Oh. <laughs> Why are you exhausted? Because uh, you studied too much? Yeah, I, I studied all of Korean history for the last 4,000 years. Uh -huh. <laughs> the finalists are Brad Williams and Dennis Kress. Which of them will win? <laughs> it looks like both of them are writing the same answer. But Dennis misspelled a letter and the victory goes to Brad. The competition ends with a warm round of applause. <laughs> As Korea becomes more relevant in the international community, so is its culture and language. As more people study the Korean language, they're getting a glimpse of Korea's dramatic past and its bright future.